so this is just a first blush look to say, yeah, this can happen if these stars align in this particular way. So here's the thing is, uh, I, you know, we're looking at, at some assumptions uh, relative to this that, that are pretty significant. Um, you know, I'm looking at the, uh, the, the uh, uh, development goals um, from the capital campaign. And, you know, when we're looking at uh, 15 to $40 million of individual uh, contributions, um, that's a significant philanthropic uh, lift that is going to have to happen, um, you know, mostly within the Sacramento region. Certainly there's going to be uh, regional and, and other donations. Um, but, you know, that's just at the front end for construction. Uh, and then, you know, there's a, a $3 million a year parking revenue um, that's factored into that. I want to make sure that as we go forward with this, we are not creating a a cottage industry of, uh, you know, uh, uh, rideshare drivers that are going to allow people to park in the surrounding neighborhoods and, and be driven over to the, you know what I mean? There's just other factors that need to be taken into account that we're not creating an impact that is uh, a negative residual effect, um, you know, kind of that unintended consequence. Uh, but then the other thing is, is we need to be honest that when we're talking about the economic impact of this, uh, and what this would mean from an economic driver for the community, that this feasibility study factors a good amount of that money being recycled back to pay off the debt needed to uh, construct the project. So it's, it, you know, in the, the beginning years, um, it really all things are going to go in order to, to make this a, a self-fulfilling thing. Um, so, I, you know, I, I, this is the first check-in of many that are going to have to happen before, you know, this thing... Uh, gets consummated, if you will. Um, but I, I, and I feel comfortable at this level at least pursuing and saying, look, one, let's keep talking only to each other, and so we'll extend the, the ENA, and, and two, let's start uh, really hammering out the details of what an MOU and what an MOA might look like. And, and Because what I don't want to have happen is that we get excited about the shiny new project um, that results in uh, missed... Um, uh, projections, and now all of a sudden the residents of Elk Grove are shouldered with the burden of providing a regional amenity um, on an ongoing basis. To me, that's not something that I can uh, get behind in, in good faith, and I don't think anybody in here is anticipating that. And So what I'm saying is we've really got to make sure that we're shaking the, the, the trees uh, well enough to, to, to sh you know, flush out that this is a, a real venture. And I think it is, and I think it can be. But uh, I look forward to the next steps, and I think I'm okay with where we are at this point.